basketball on WMIX and WMIXSports.com, where you can watch or listen from any device. Lady Rams basketball on WMIX Sports is powered by the official voice of Lady Rams Athletics, Community First Bank of the Heartland. Welcome back to Personal Banking. Lady Rams basketball is also sponsored in part by the Medicine Shop of Mount Vernon, Ford Square in King City Chrysler. You can count on us. Red Lake College. Save thousands on your college education. Log on to rlc.edu. State Farm Insurance Agent Tony Wilt. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Second Chance Auto on Route 142 East in Mount Vernon. Good Samaritan Regional Health Center. Raising a hospital. Raising the bar. Winning Edge. Schmidt Board of Salem. And also by the Orthopedic Center of Southern Illinois. Landers Collision Centers of Mount Vernon and Schmidt Chevrolet of Mount Vernon. All Stars in Central Christian Church. And People's National Bank. It's time to join Chris Hugo and Danny Jerwinski for Mount Vernon Lady Rams Basketball. From the Ford Square WMIX Sports Mobile Studios, the Landers Collision Center's pregame show starts now. And we welcome you inside Shagnon Gymnasium for Lady Rams basketball as the Triad Lady Knights come to town. This is the first game the Lady Rams have seen in 2014. First game they've seen since a 43-40 loss to Freeburg. That ended their Mascuda Holiday Tournament back on December the 27th. Now we fast forward a few weeks, and here we are, Shagnon Gymnasium from your WMIX Sports Mobile Studios. Good afternoon. I'm Chris Hugo. Danny Zerwinski is on assignment. Here on your Landers Collision Center's pregame show, we have plenty more to talk about. The Triad Lady Knights, their season to this point, and the Mount Vernon Rand Lady Rams season to this point as well. Of course, we have plenty more to tell you about. We're going to take a quick break on your Landers Collision Center Spring Game Show, but don't forget, bigger, small Landers fixes them all. They detail them now as well. Ask about premium detailing for life your car at Landers Collision Centers in Mount Vernon and Salem. Call 1-888-LANDERS. That's 1-888-LANDERS. We'll take that break. This is Lady Rams Basketball from WMIX Sports. Hi, this is Joe David Cummins, president of Community First Bank. Now is a great time to move your account to Community First Bank. With our new one account offering the highest interest rate in the market, free checking, and CD specials delivered by people you know and trust, why would you not bank with the market leader in Jefferson County? We offer five locations with seven ATMs and have been serving the Jefferson County market since 1906. Stop in and see why our bank is the fastest growing bank in Jefferson County. Community First Bank, welcome back to Personal Banking, member FDIC. The Medicine Shop Pharmacy offers convenience and great service, all for the same cost. Our pharmacy staff is so helpful. They're always ready to answer any questions you may have. You'll never wait hours for your prescription. We'll get you in and out in just minutes. Or, for added convenience, use one of our two drive through windows. For those folks who prefer to stay home, our delivery service will bring the medications to your front door or your workplace. Here's pharmacist and pharmacy owner Eric Black to tell you more. Home delivery does make us stand out from the crowd. Independents uh, like the medicine shop offer home delivery. People find that so convenient. And not just seniors, uh, but also busy professionals. Delivery to work or to their home once they get home in the evening. It's just a, a service that sets us apart from our competition, absolutely. It's so easy to transfer your prescriptions. All it takes is a phone call from you, and we'll take care of the rest. The Medicine Shop Pharmacy accepts Medco, TRICARE, Express Scripts, and many other 90-day plans. The Medicine Shop, 2339 Broadway in Mount Vernon. Wouldn't it be amazing if there was somewhere you could listen to knowledgeable discussion, interviews with a great mix of coaches, get the scores, and be entertained? You must have missed last week's Saturday Sports Show. Give AM 940 a couple of hours every Saturday morning after the 8 o'clock news, and we'll give you the info you need like no one else can. It's your best option this sports season. The Saturday Sports Show on WMIX and WMIXSports.com. Powered by Crossroads Community Hospital. It's more than a hospital. It's what health care should be. WMIX Sports is your home for the Mount Vernon Lady Rams. Powered by Community First Bank. And we welcome you back inside Shagnon Gymnasium for your Landers Collision Center pregame show. Expanded to Collision Centers in Mount Vernon and Salem. You'll find Landers Collision Centers, of course, in those two locations or online at LandersAuto.com. Big or small, Landers fixes them all. They detail them now as well. Again, ask about premium detailing for life of your ride at Landers Collision Centers in Mount Vernon and Salem. Chris Hugo with you. Danny Zerwinski on assignment. Quentin Lloyd back at our Mount Vernon studio. Jeff Crow brings you the video angles at WMIXSports.com. Kind of a different look today. Because heaven forbid there be any type of shade on the windows here at Shagnon Gymnasium. But as a result, the sunlight seeps through. It adds a beautiful ambiance to this historic place. 
and it'll be fun to watch on WMIXSports.com. Hope you brought your sunglasses if you're listening to us in attendance as you were on the side opposite the sun. So there we go. The Lady Rams, of course, entertaining the 4 and 11 Lady Knights of Triad. Triad kind of has a different approach to their schedule. They don't play in a midwinter tournament. They actually play in two tournaments around Thanksgiving. The first one is at Columbia where they went 1-2. and two. They won their first game out of the gate against Alton Marquette, 34-26. to 26. Lost the rest of the way there, losing to Greenville and Conference foe Waterloo. Then they head to the Nashville Thanksgiving tournament, which is where the Lady Rams have also played. Of course, Lady Rams did get a win in the fifth place game over Triad, 48-20, to 20, way back on November the 30th. Triad won one game in the tournament. They beat a Freeburg team on Black Friday, 41-37. And since then, haven't had much success. They do have wins over Clayton, Missouri, and Trenton Westland. But other than that, not much success. 0-4 are the Lady Knights, of course, in the Mississippi Valley Conference with losses to Mascuda, Highland, Highland, Civic, and Jerseyville. That is their season to this point. After tonight, or this afternoon, I should say, Lady Knights will actually head to Waterloo. They will host Waterloo, pardon me, so they'll return to the friendly confines. Of course, it's been a rough go for Triad. Not sure if they've been able to get any practice in at this point or not because they have a no school, no athletic event policy. So for the Lady Knights, they have been out all week. So unbeknownst to us as if they've actually been able to practice, wasn't able to catch up with the head coach prior to the JV game before all the festivities got underway. So glad you can join us today, however, for Lady Rams basketball. They've kind of had a different approach this season. They've lost a couple of games this week already. We're supposed to have played a makeup game with Effingham St. Anthony at the Inlo Center. On Tuesday night, that game was snowed out. And then on Thursday, the Lady Rams were actually in session. They went to school. They practiced all week. But Christ Iraq Lutheran was out of school, and so they couldn't come down on Thursday. And as a result, Lady Rams haven't had a game to this point. So it's been a long time since we've seen the Lady Rams. WMIX was there when Jasmine Hawkins put in a buzzer beat or at Carbondale to keep the Lady Rams undefeated in the conference. But since December the 17th and that great game, we have not been able to see the Lady Rams. They've only played twice, and that was in the Mascuda Holiday Tournament. Losses to Belleville East and the aforementioned Freeburg, a team that Triad beat in the Nashville Tournament. How is this all going to end up today? We'll find out. We told you about the big victory the Lady Rams had over Triad way back when. This is your Landers Collision Center Spring Game. Show me to talk more about the Lady Rams and their season to this point after a quick break. This is Lady Rams Basketball, powered by Community First Bank. This is your local State Farm agent, Tony Wilk. I want to thank Mount Vernon and the surrounding area for continuing to support us over the past five years. If you have never sat down with someone to go over your insurance program, let me invite you into our office. Let us show you what working with the industry leader, represented by a local agent, can do for you. I'm located just off 42nd Street. You can reach our office 24 hours a day at 242-1421 or on the web at TonyWilk.com. Thanks again, and go Rams. People's National Bank makes purchasing a home easy. Hi, this is Joy Schrader, mortgage specialist from People's National Bank. Visit peoplesnationalbank.com to fill out an online application 24-7, and you will be on your way to owning your own home. If you have any questions, give me, Joy Schrader, a call at 241-6928. People's National Bank, your home for home loans. Currently serving Southern Illinois since 1909. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Loan subject to credit approval. Here's Jeff Schmidt for Schmidt Chevrolet of Mount Vernon. Right now you can get up to $4,500 rebate on the 2014 Silverado, which makes that truck the best buy on the market. It blows away the F-150 and the Dodge Ram when you compare standard features, software, and everything that goes into this truck. Why would you want to buy old technology when you can have the latest and the greatest in the Silverado? Schmidt Chevrolet of Mount Vernon, 3423 Broadway in Mount Vernon complete. That's the orthopedic center in Southern Illinois with a full sports medicine clinic, state-of-the-art MRI, a spine care team that focuses on pain management, arthroscopy specialists offering total joint replacement and surgery, and complete rehabilitation services. Doctors Chow, Rubel, Ah, Kowalski, Freehill, and Smith stand ready to serve you today with offices in Mount Vernon and Centralia and satellite offices in Benton and Nashville. Find out more online at orthocenter-si.com. Follow us on Twitter at WMIX Sports. This is Mount Vernon Lady Rams basketball. We told you a little bit about the Lady Rams season to this point. Welcome back to your Landers Collision Center's pregame show. Lady Rams hosting the Triad Lady Knights at Shagnon Gymnasium. 
here for a Saturday matinee. It's actually one of two we have from Shagnon today. We'll have the varsity contest of the Mount Vernon Rams and the Northwest Academy of Law coming your way tonight. That's 6 o'clock JV start. We're on the air probably about 7.15. So there you go. And as we take a look at the Lady Rams, we told you they are undefeated in the South 7 Conference. They've gotten wind, key road wins against Centralia and Carbondale have beaten Marion and Cahokia here at home and still have some of the stretch of their schedule to roll into. Because I believe I've forgotten somebody. They may actually be better than 4-0 at this point. My apologies. But as you take a look at their season to this juncture, the Lady Rams have seen quite a bit of success. We'll take a look at some scores from around the area here in just a moment. But what a big day they have in store. Needing to get a win here today because the fear right now is not being able to possibly make up some of those games that were lost, two of them to be exact, with St. Anthony and Christ Our Rock Lutheran. Lady Rams will head on the road to Altoff on Monday night. We'll have that one for you here on WMIX. And then on Thursday, they will welcome Carbondale back to the fold. So that one was highly dramatic. Carbondale, of course, gets a win today, and hence my segue as we take a look at your Tony World scoreboard update. Carbondale beat the Centralianis earlier, 61-48. Of course, we'll take a look at more scores throughout the afternoon, but on WYX AM earlier, you heard the Waltonville Spartans fall to Dietrich, Dietrich rather, 53-45. to That's a quick Tony Wilt scoreboard update on WYX here. Tony Wilt, TonyWilt.com. You can find him in his office at the corner of 42nd and South Water Tower or look for the White State Farm Jeep around town. And not trying to be flustered, but we're just waiting to see with that buzzer if we we're going to get straight to the anthem here from Shagnon Gymnasium. We're on the beautiful campus of Mount Vernon Township High School. We hope you're enjoying today's broadcast to this point. If you're listening in the stands, thank you. Or if you're watching us online, thank you for watching at WMIXSports.com. We're going to honor America from Shagnon Gymnasium. At least we think that's what we're going to do. They may not have an anthem. Yeah, they will. There we go. We're playing that game. That game is over. National anthem went out. This is Lady Rams basketball from WMIX Sports. Don't just dream about a better job. Go get it with scores of programs that take two years, one year, or even just a few months to complete. Red Lake College is your gateway to a career you'll love. From nursing to coal mining, from computer programming to cosmetology, and everything in between. Red Lake College is affordable, convenient, and ready to get you trained for your new job fast. Call us at 618-437-5321 or visit us at rlc.edu. More Americans are on a move today than ever before. One of the most popular modes of transportation is the motorcycle. Motorcycles take us to our jobs, school, to the beach, and all around the country. If you're a bike rider, your Pekin Insurance Agency page insurance on Crown View and Mount Vernon wants to make sure you have the best insurance protection while you're riding. Ask about the money-saving auto cycle discount and the experienced driver discount, too. Call page insurance at 2427000 today about motorcycle insurance from Pekin Insurance. This is Chase Landers with Landers Collision Center. Imagine this. You're driving down the road. It's dark as can be outside. Thank goodness you just had that left headlight bulb replaced. Otherwise, you wouldn't be able to see a thing. Now, close your eyes. Okay, don't close your eyes. You're supposed to be driving. Imagine noticing a slight twinkle off to the left, just above the ditch. What is that, you think to yourself? All of a sudden, whack. You've just encountered your first deer hit. The left side of your vehicle is beat up pretty bad. The next thing I want you to imagine is very simple. Taking up your phone and dialing one triple eight landers to set up your repair. Your claims are common and usually a very simple process which fall under comprehensive coverage. This is Chase Landers asking you to allow landers to be your collision repair shop of choice. Whether it be a deer hit, fender bender, or the regular, uh-oh, sorry mom, landers is here for you whenever you need it. Big or small, Landers fixes them all. One triple eight Landers. That's one eight 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 Landers. Find us on Facebook. This is Lady Rams basketball from WMIX Sports. And we welcome you back, WMIX, WMIXSports.com. Of course, today on ninety four point one FM, also online at WMIXSports.com. Wrapping up your Landers Collision Center's pregame show. Of course, big or small, Landers fixes them all. One eight 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 Landers. That's one triple eight Landers. Taking a look at your page insurance starting lineups first for the Triad Lady Knights. Four and eleven on the year, coached by Josh Hunt. They'll be in their away black with red trim. They'll start number thirteen, Sam Bassler. Number twenty one, Hannah Johnson, and number twenty three, Sophie Thompson. That is your backcourt. Your front cap court will be number fifteen, Abby Burrows, and number thirty three. Sam Woods for the Lady Rams, coached by Jeff Lawn, and they are just above 500 at 6-4, though undefeated in the South 7th Conference. 
They'll start the point guard, Claire Ryan. Another guard will be number 12, Courtney Scarborough. In the front court, they'll have Micaiah Rush, Hannah Owens, and Isha Sanders. That is a look at your starting lineup for this one between the Malford and Lady Rams and the Carbondale, or actually the Triad Knights. I was looking at a Carbondale score. Carbondale beats Centray today, 61-48. We told you that earlier. We'll have plenty more scores coming your way in just a moment. Courtesy of Tony Wilt. Lady Rams basketball course is presented by Community First Bank of the Heartland. With five Jefferson County branches, they are by far the market leader. Community First Bank, welcome back to Personal Banking. Just ask about their one checking, featuring free checking, and high yield interest. So there we go. And we're about to get underway from beautiful, sunlit Chagnon Gymnasium. We'll do our best to see throughout the broadcast as we aren't going to time our camera operator, also the public address announcer, to see how long it takes or quickly he can get up to his perch. But he's running. And away we are getting ready to go here from Shagna. So for the Lady Rams, it's safe to assume it'll be Hannah Owens in the jump circle. Yes, it will. And for the Knights, it'll be number 15, Abby Burroughs. And away we'll go here on WMIXFM, WMIXSports.com. Triad will control the tip. And looks as if we're going to have to redo this one. JV game, Lady Rams took the win in overtime, 33-28 to earlier. Tip will not be redone. It'll actually be Lady Ram basketball out of bounds. My apologies. Either misinterpreted a rule or didn't see the call. Or a little of both. Lady Rams will go right to left. It'll be Claire Ryan handling the basketball across the timeline. Off to the right wing. Triad looks to be in man. Thrown off of Burroughs. Back to Ryan at the wing. 7.49 to play in the first. No score yet between the two teams here early on in the first quarter. We told you Lady Rams have not played since December the 27th at the Mascuta Holiday Tournament. Triad information disappeared. Not that. You're good. As on the left, Lady Rams misses. Shot off of the right block. Offensive rebound. Put back by Rush is no good. And the rebound's going to be tipped around. And it looks like Rush was fouled. They're going to give her credit for a shot and send her to the line to shoot, too. Here we go. That's D.C. He was on assignment. Now his assignment has transitioned him here back to Jefferson County. Not sure if he experienced any delays on the interstate. A southbound between Salem and Dix is a little troublesome. You don't have to worry about that if you know ways around places. Well, you're right. You are a Jefferson County native. Well, I know, know how to get know around a few roads. other places, well, too. Well, that, too. Ryan, or excuse me, Rush leaves them both short. Rebound ends up in the hands of Triad. And here come the Knights. That was Sam Woods on the rebound. 7-20 to play in the first quarter. Glad to have you with us. Chris Hugo with Danny Zerwinski. Jeff Crow here as well. Quentin Lloyd back at our Malford in studio. Triad coming around to the top. That's Abby Burroughs. She jumped and didn't quite come up with it off the tip. Lady Rams had it, had their opportunities, have squandered them thus far as Bassler with it up top. She's going to drive. Left hand is left short. And a minute in, we're still looking for a score. Lady Rams with the basketball into the front court. Woof. I tell both teams have some rust. I was talking earlier in the pregame. Triad actually, to my knowledge, has a nothing at all policy as nice find from the right corner looked like Isha Sanders was able to find Hannah Owens off of the right block Lady Rams lead 2-0 I partook of the pregame I figured you did. came on at the tower north of town <laughs> nice you're in the right spot not that you needed to be close to it no out of the left corner three on the way is gonna be no good by Burroughs rebound tipped around so Lady Rams cleaning up off of the glass and into the front court they come up to love with 625 to play in the first quarter the WMIX Sports Mobile Studios driven by Ford Square literally today as the left wing three is coming from Ryan, it's good. Lady Rams are up 5-0. Of course, we told you about Ford Square. 7.24 million, or 4.2 million. I better not even say details. But they sold, Ford nationally sold quite a bit of vehicles, making them by far the number one brand. You can see their great selection of new Ford vehicles, as well as Luxury Lincoln at Ford Square, 1501 Broadway in Mount Vernon, and FordSquare.com. Burrows from the left wing, try to dribble in, baseline jumper, foul. It was a blocked shot, but a foul coming off the push. Push came from behind, and that is going to send Burroughs to the line of shoot, too, we think. It's kind of bright in here. I know. Do we not have shades? Did you hear me say that on the pregame? No. Oh, wow, that's crazy. I, did, I heard something oh, okay. about bright in here, and I thought, okay. Well, there was a heaven forbid in there, too. The, there was no foul in the shot. However, a jumper from the left corner is no good from number 23, Sophie Thompson. And here come the Lady Rams off another defensive rebound. Off button. There we go. Up top, Pan Owens with the basketball. Got it from Scarborough. Looking to the left for Ryan. She has a three ball tonight. Now off a screen comes Courtney to the top. Right hand dribble switches left hand. Has her pocket picked, but has her wrist grabbed at the same time. That'll be a foul on the Knights with the Lady Rams on top 5 0. 
Good That's turn sure. out of red and black here today from Triad. They're probably got cabin fever trying to get out of the house. Amen to that. Now, there's some snow drifts north, and even with the melting going on, there's a lot of big snow drifts well, that way. Triad was out all five days. Schools in the Effingham area were out all five days. Among them, one of the schools participating in that shootout against Waltonville today. They're looking for a backdoor lob. Hannah beat the defender back, but left it short off of the iron. Rebound will go to the Knights. They get a defensive board, and they race into the front court. That was Thompson looking off to the right side for Hannah Johnson. Left-hand here, but with 5.01 left to go in the first quarter. Still 5-0, Lady Rams on top. Left wing, it'll go for Woods. Swung around to the right wing for Johnson. Johnson's looking around. Going to try to lob over the top. That'll be stolen away by Isha Sanders. Rush had a tip. Sanders, if the official would have caught her, actually stepped on the end sideline. Lady Rams will get a break. Couldn't see it. It's too bright in here. No kidding. Rush off of the left arc. One and two from Shagnon. It'll be darker for the next one as Rush comes from the side. What a good baseline layup there by Rush to make it 7-0. Triad wants a timeout. It's presented by the Medicine Shop Pharmacy at 2339 Broadway in Mount Vernon. We all need some Oakleys to accurately portray this one. Well, that's a... Or if you're worried about any kind of rust from the Lady Rams, very little, if any, showing here so far. Looks pretty good in the early going. And, yeah, and I mean, it is It's a good start. When you have over two weeks off, you're worried about anything that could happen. And, you know, Triad hasn't been able to touch a basketball, so I'm sure Mount Vernon's ahead in that nature. I mean, it's one of those deals where, you know, you can't say, well, you're in that part of the year, so you shouldn't have to worry about practice. I mean, my gosh, you can't take four, five, six days off. No and be able to keep up with the uh, Joneses of the world in basketball because they're going to be practicing if they can. 4.33 left in the first quarter, 7-0. Try at the inbound off of the baseline, length of the floor, left to right they go. That is Sam Bassler with the basketball, 4.25 left to go on the first. Lady Rams up 7-0. We have plenty of scores coming your way in just a moment. Bassler's going to kick out to the left wing for Strom, who's into the game. Morgan Strom dribbles to the right elbow, kicks off, nice pass. As Triad's trying to work the ball around, Bassler pulls up the free throw line, and Triad scores for the first time today. It's 7-2 midway through the first quarter. Community First Bank, five at Jefferson County branches. By far the market leader, two locations here in Mount Vernon, as well as Dix and Ina. Also Woodlawn, can't forget about Woodlawn. Welcome back to personal banking as Owens is trying to lean in to get contact as she went up for a shot and picked up her pivot. Travels with the basketball. Turnover Lady Rams, and Triad will get a chance here with 3.53 left in the first as they'll have some subs check in. For the Lady Rams, it's still the starters of Owen, Scarborough, Ryan, Rush, and Sanders. Looks like it is Burroughs, Johnson, Thompson, and company for Triad. Off a of screen, threes coming from the right is no good. Rebound underneath to Hannah Owens with 3.37 left to go in the first quarter. 7-2 is the Lady Ram lead. Y'all, you good to go? Set? I think I'm set. Nicely done. That was pretty quick. 328 left in the first overtime, didn't it hurt? As Ryan's going to dribble in the paint, gets a shot and count it. She's off to a two for two start from the field. As my, I, and it's nice to see the guards from Mount Vernon go ahead and take an advantage and get to the rim. I mean, a tough sun today here to shoot in out on this side. You got to get to the rim and shoot them short. I forgot my eye black. I didn't think I'd need that until Tim Holloway was around. <laughs> the end one is no good. Rebound to the Knights. See what Triad is able to do here. Trailing 9-2 in the first, 316 left. Video at WMIXSports.com is fueled by Rin Lake College. Over 100 degree and certificate programs from which to choose. See which is right for you at RLC.edu. As Thompson's coming around, fouled as she's going baseline. We'll see if they give her credit for the shot. She hadn't quite went up, but it looks like she was in the act of shooting, so that'll be mm -hmm. two free throws. Yep, she was shooting the ball. And now, you know, and you already beat Triad once, and they've had time off. The kids know this. The first free throw is good. And you don't want that mentally to affect them how they prepare for this, and you don't want Triad to kind of hang around because, you know, they'll give you fits if you're not careful, even though they've had this layoff, which five, six days layoff in basketball may as well be a month. It's it just you can't expect teams to catch up and keep up with people, even though they practice all summer and during the season. Thomas at the line shooting – or Thompson, I should say, shooting two. Missed a second after making the first. Lady Rams will steal away the offensive rebound. It's Ryan with it in the front court. 2.54 left to go in the first quarter. 9-3 score. Lady Rams on top of Triad. Glad to have you with us on 
or those of you watching at WMIXSports.com. Good play to Owens. Could come up with it. Isha puts it back off the offensive rebound. Hannah gets another offensive board. Cleans it up that time and gets the point. It's 11-3. Mount Vernon right now already with eight rebounds in the first half, first quarter alone. Had a nice little swagger on that set, though they missed a couple of shots. Had no problem controlling the offensive boards. 2.28 to play, and I liked how they didn't put them down. They just put them back up. Ball fake left side. Going to be dropped off to the top for Bassler. Kicked over to the left. Here comes a Johnson, too. I would say she dribbled in. Lefty stroke from mid-range. That's pretty. So Hannah Johnson makes it 11-5. 2.10 left to go in the first quarter. Lady Rams on top. Again, we're here tonight. The Mount Vernon Rams play the Northwest Academy of Law out of St. Louis, Missouri. Two minutes left to go. Three on the way off a screen from Ryan's no good. And it's going to be saved by Rush, but she shaves it, saves it in to try it. 149 left to go in the first six-point ball game. Johnson with it right in the circle, trying to dribble past the defender, Ryan. Kicks over to the right side. Oh, man. Here comes Thompson trying to split the defender. Reach foul on the way. Shouldn't be any shots, but they're going to go ahead and give her two. <laughs> that, was a that was the 12th proposal. Continuation can work in some places. <laughs> you feel for triad because you can't help mom nature. You can't help school policy. Common sense. Exactly. As the first free throw is no good. Visited their website yesterday. That's how I saw it. It said all practices and athletic events canceled. Uh, they didn't have any games. The boys didn't play yesterday. Boys are actually at that aforementioned St. Anthony shootout today. Second free throw is no good. It was left short, overcompensated, or undercompensated that time. Went long first, went short second. Lady Rams get the rebound with a minute 30 to go in the first quarter. Into the front quarter, it's Ryan. Claire's done a great job handling the basketball this season. Has a good shot. Scarborough right wing. Right corner, it's going to be Isha looking inside for Hannah. Pass was long and off the mark after it was tipped. And here comes... Triad after the turnover. Right side, it's going to be Bassler. Left hand dribble, she'll lose it out of bounds. Unscathed, it'll be Lady Ram basketball in the turnover. Uh, she had a wide open look to the rim. I think she was so wide open, the ball got extra air and it went slick through her hands. Bounced right up on the stage. Nice. Stage will be nerd night tonight for the home game for the Ram. I, you know, I'd like to see the chaos cage. I challenge them to do some things for the Lady Rams at home too. That would be nice. Chaos cage, of course, on Twitter. So are we at WMIX Sports. Give us a follow. Left wing coming. It's going to be Ryan. Left it short. Had a good job of getting in there. Owens will get the rebound and put it back up and in. 13-5. Lady Rams up eight. Less than a minute to play here in the first quarter. Rams, Lady Rams have 11 rebounds already. They're having a pretty good afternoon. Had to stop and think about the time of day with 43 seconds to go in the first. It'll be off to the right side for Bassler. Back to the left now. And that's going to be some sort of turnover. Thought she'd gotten rid of the ball when she'd taken the steps. But the Lady Rams get the benefit. Of the travel call with 38 seconds. Uh, a rare triple header of basketball for you today. We had a game earlier on AM 940 as the Waltonville Spartans fell to Dietrich. The number three seed going into the National Trail Conference Tournament. Midland Trail seeds will be released, I believe, will they'll be decided on Wednesday. Probably released on Thursday if I had to guess. Sanders with it up top trying to dribble in. Lost it. Throws in the corner. Courtney, nice little ball fake. She'll curl around the defender. Throw it up and in. Nice play. Another couple of points for her, 15-5. Good effort today from the Lady Rams who are up 10 with 10 seconds left to go. Hannah Johnson with it inside the right corner at the timeline. Left hand dribble, nice screen set on Ryan. She'll shake the defender. It'll be thrown outside. Three on the way is going to be no good from Morgan Strom. And that is how your first quarter will end. After one, the Mountford and Lady Rams 15, the Triad Lady Knights 5. This is Mountford and Basketball powered by Community First Bank. Hi, this is Joe David Cummins, president of Community First Bank. And now you've heard about our new One Checking product. The new One account is a high interest earning free checking account designed for everyone. Unlike other banks that pay interest on higher balance, this account pays interest on all balance. From high schoolers to Warren Buffett, one will work for you. You can talk to one of us at 244-3000 and learn about the details. One, exclusively at Community First Bank. You will be one happy customer, member FDIC. 
Your spine is a miracle of engineering. So when pain strikes, your body is telling you to get help fast. The Orthopedic Center of Southern Illinois is proud to feature their spine care team. Doctors Kowalski and Smith, the professionals at Orthopedic Center, specialize in back and neck pain. So put our spine care team on the job. Find out more online at orthocenter-si.com. Stop the pain, fix the problem, and enjoy life again. The Orthopedic Center of Southern Illinois. Watch the Lady Rams online at WMIXSports.com. Powered by Red Lake College. WMIXFM, WMIXSports.com. You can watch us online or listen to us right here. We start the second quarter from Shagnon Gymnasium. Lady Rams on top of triad, 15 to 5. It'll be night basketball to start. Off the left side, Johnson's going to leave it for Thompson. Right hand dribble off of the wing, stops left elbow, pulls it up, bounces around, falls. Well, that dropped in, nice iron kind, dropped right on in. That was a good look there for the Knights. Points for Johnson here in the quarter, and it's 15 7. Here comes uh, some, wow. Wasn't expecting that. Ryan dribble penetrated off of the right block, and now it's 17 7 as Claire gets two more. She's having a good day. Oh, she's off to a point where she knows she can take the person guarding her, take to the hole anytime. 7 16 left to go, and she can penetrate. Now off the left, scoop layup is no good from Johnson. That takes some of the pressure off Hannah Owens, too. 7.06 to play in the first half. Committee First Bank of the Heartland is the official voice of high school sports on WIX. Five Jersey County Branches and a three on the way from the right wing is no good from Ryan. Isha puts it back up off the offensive board. Iron not kind. Makaya Resch got in there for a rebound, but it'll be tipped away to the Knights. And here comes Thompson for triad as we're talking about Committee First Bank of the Heartland. Pretty well take care of any high school sports need we have here on WMIX to help bring you the best possible coverage. We appreciate Community First Bank. Show your appreciation and ask about the one account. It's free checking and high yield interest, and that'll be a reach on Scarborough. Thought she's going to come up with a steal. Came up with a left wrist, and it's going to be a foul on Courtney. Fourth of the half for the Lady Rams. How was the in low center today? Don't look like much of a crowd from your picture on um, Twitter. At average crowd. Of course, T-Town and Effingham St. Anthony will bring their crowd later. Oh, yeah. But... Um, you know, well done. Two pretty good games. Uh, that was, second one was pretty good, Dietrich and Waltonville. Fresh. But not bad. The crowd was starting to increase. Mount Pulaski game was starting to fill in a little bit. As at the Enlow Center earlier today, the Waltonville Spartans into Dietrich moving Maroons. On AM 940, we have the archive up for that when we can. As they'll tumble underneath. Let's see what the call is going to be. It's going to be a jump ball. Possession arrow favors the Lady Rams. That was a good effort that time. By Triad, and that was Sam Woods, but... Just came up a little bit short. Length of the floor inbound for the Lady Rams. It'll be Courtney Scarborough with it, getting it back from Claire Ryan out of the inbound. 6.09 to play in the half, 17-7. It's a Lady Ram lead. Rush dribbles through the double team. Now going to be stopped mid-post. They'll kick it out up top. Good job by Scarborough to tip to Ryan. Hester's the first sub of the game for the Lady Rams, as she checked in a moment ago. Trying to pass the basketball, picked up her back foot. She did. That's a turnover. Six on or five on the Lady Rams so far. Maybe some rust. I mean, you know, Mount Vernon's practice gets themselves for two weeks, minus a few snow days. Other than that, it's you kind of get tired of it and things like that. Mental breakdowns will happen when you're running a set. Midland Trail Conference Tournament semifinal. We have a not quite a final. They're getting there though in that first semifinal game. They had to postpone those to today. Left wing, it's Triad with the basketball. That was Hannah Johnson going into the corner for Sophie Thompson. Back to Johnson to circle. 5.33 to play in the first half. 17-7 ball game. Lady Rams are up 10. WMIX Sports Mobile Studios are driven by King City Chrysler Center. Don't forget about their express lane, fast oil changes, and more. Courtney gets a fast turnover. She's going to bring it length to the floor. Layup's no good, but she's fouled. We'll go to the line. No appointment necessary to express lane, fast oil changes, and more. Just stop in and get whatever service you need. It's at 1603 Broadway in Mount Vernon. I've taken advantage of that before. Very convenient. As Courtney will go to the line to shoot two on the foul. Hoodlon was in the midst of upsetting number one North Clay. Up one with 34 seconds left. We'll see what happens with that final. That'd be a nice coup win for yeah, Matt Patterson. And his Lady Cardinals. 5-18 left. First free throw is good. So is the second. What's the whistle here? Oh, wide 31 is in the lane. I don't think so. I think it was a sneeze. He had to make something up. That's what I thought because I didn't see her move, and I think he made something up because he blew his whistle. Thought, yeah. too, thought, too uh -huh. thought too hard on it. Yeah. You yeah. Know, 
You know how they teach you how to read body language? The eyes go one way. Uh, there you go. That's what it was. Thompson, the three from the left wing is no good. Rebound at the back door. Scarborough. So Courtney gets the last laugh after technically making both free throws. Lady Rams are up 11. 18-7. Ryan with it between the circles. They are going right to left are the Lady Rams in their home whites with orange trim. Orange numerics trimmed in black. As Owens has it up top between the circles. Launches over to the right corner. I should say right arc. And there's Avon calling as that's going to be a foul up the mid post on the left mm -hmm. side. Hasler picks up her second. Hmm. I didn't see much of a shove there other than the cell makeup. And it's 18-7, really not much happening right for Triad. The defense for Mount Vernon on that end been rather nice. Uh, four shots. Mount Vernon up 11 for more. Nice backdoor play to Ryan and a foul, but no good. It rolls off the front of the iron. Good find. Left of the bucket re inbound. Goes to the back door. And Claire gets herself to the line to shoot, too. Video streaming is powered by Rin Lake College. Log on to rlc.edu to see how you can save thousands of dollars on your collegiate education. First free throw is no good. North Clay now leads 64-63 with 4.1 seconds left. In the first semifinal of the MTC tournament, Ryan knocks down the back end, one of two, and now it's 19-7, Lady Rams. 4.43 left in the second quarter. Hannah Johnson with the basketball for Triad. Dribbles across the timeline with the left hand. Throws off to the left side for Sophie Thompson. A screen set from the left for Chigas. And now that's going to be a launch shot. The 17-footer is good. The iron kind again for Triad. Two more points, I believe it was for John Thompson. With 4.24 left here to go in the first half. 19-9 score. Lady Rams are only up 10. Right elbow, it's Owens. Kicks over to the left side off the wing. Here comes Ryan to the basket. Yes, iron's kind that time for Claire. Nice good little post-up move. Oh, good strong finish that time. That was amazing. Good job by her to finish strong amongst the timber. That's what I thought. Second foul on Strom. With 4.15 left in the first half, Community First Bank of the Heartland is the official voice of high school sports here on WMAX and WMAXSports.com. Always bank on your hometown team and ask about one checking at Community First Bank. One means more. It means free checking and high yield interest. Member FDIC. 22-9. Lady Rams are up a baker's dozen with 4.07 to play here in the second quarter. Off the right side will come Strom. Looks back up top. Screen three on the way is good. That was a good look there by Thompson. And that'll cut it to 10. Well, she's the hot hand right now. Kind of keeping triad down 10, then her four to go. They need to get this in single digits and keep it there at half. As it'll be Ryan at the circle with 3.45 to play in the first half. 22-12 your score. Lady Rams are up 10. Off of the right wing, that's going to be Courtney. Held high, ball fake. Nope, throws to the top for Hannah. Back left arc now for Rush, who gets it between the circles to Courtney. 3.32 to play in the first half. Claire Ryan with the basketball on the left wing. Throws back to the top. That's Miriam Hester. Now to the left side for Scarborough. To the top for Hannah. They're trying to open up something underneath. Ryan a ball fake. Going to go to the right side. Throws up to the top for Courtney with 3.18 to go in the first half. Still a 10-point game. 22-12 Mount Vernon on top of the Triad Lady Knights. They're going to reverse around. Makaya Rush with it between the circles. Throws it over the right wing for Hester. Back to Ryan. Scarborough wide open. Long three on the way is no good. Put a little too much on the long three. And the rebound will be tipped away. Here come the Knights. As Burrows into the front court as she raises with a right hand dribble. Lost the basketball. Tips it out to Thompson, who has it stolen away by Claire. Claire's got a one-on-one -on -one against Basler. Lost control of the dribble. Turn over to the triad. Ooh, and a shot from the right blocks to Sam Sam Basler to the line to shoot two. Well, that was a little back and forth, to and fro, and not much done except Triad ended up with it closer to their basket and was able to get a shot off and get fouled. So with 2.44 left in the first half, 22-12 score. Lady Rams are up 10. Basler at the line shooting the first, makes it. Cuts it to single digits. See if she can knock down the second. It's an improved triad team from when we saw them at Nashville. Get you some more Tony Wilt scoreboard updates shortly. Second free throw, no good. Nine-point game, 22-13. Defensive rebound to Lady Rams. Claire Ryan will dribble it across the timeline. Throws off to the left for Colleen Scoble. Now into the corner for Isha Sanders. They'll reverse it around to the top. Here comes Claire over to the right side. Courtney off of the right corner. Isha Sanders. And they'll reverse again. Scoble with it off of the left arc. 224. Between the circles. Ooh, nice play. 
Went mid post to Hannah who tipped out to Courtney. She'll jump stop the lane. Her shot is no good. Hannah the rebound and shot won't count. The foul was on the floor. That should be white. And, yeah. Should be one and one for Hannah. Yep. There we go. Yep. Hannah will go to the line. Hasn't scored in the quarter. Had six in the first. Let's see what Owens can do. Try at Mount Vernon would be a good fit all the way around. Uh huh. Okay. Especially in the same conference. Yep. What? <laughs> first free throw is good from Hannah Owens. She'll get another here on the bonus. That was a nice discussion this morning. As friction grows in other places. On the Saturday Sports Show, we went the uh, infamous rare overrun. Went till 10.06 this morning. You can find that archive at WMIXSports.com right there on the archives page. Wow. Hannah makes her second. About the big news today is A-Rod's got a year off vacation. Yeah. Plus or, playoffs. Yeah, 26 million. Nah, you don't need it. His team's going to have to get there first for it to matter. He can't play playoffs either. I know, that's what I mean. Yeah. May not be much of a layoff at all if his team's not there. Off the left side, it's no good from Johnson. Went off block. Rebound will be tipped away. Ryan has it. So Claire comes up with it all the way at the left wing in the front court, but then travels with the basketball. And so the Lady Rams will turn it back over to try at up 11 with 155 to play in the second quarter. Mm -hmm. Well, now that I can see the sun's at an angle, a lot of dignitaries in the house today. Right wing, that was Thompson. Back to the top for Hannah Johnson. 148 left to go in the quarter. Walked. Man, she got three steps, Patrick <laughs> Ewing. <laughs> and to the get right. off that curl to up top. Right elbow shot, no good. Rebound to the Lady Rams. Claire Ryan has it between the circles. Bounce pass to Scoble off of the left arc with a minute 33. Isha all alone off the block, but no good as it rolls off the back of the iron. Chigas with the rebound. Chigas, Chigas. We'll settle on something in a moment. 120 to play in the first half. Lady Rams up 11, 24-13 off of the left. Here's a three coming. Burrows, no, well short. Rebound to Scarborough, and here come the Lady Rams with a minute 10. Winning Edge has a new store in Mount Vernon on South 9th Street. Have all of your custom MVTHS apparel and active wear. Go see their selection or see what they can customize for your organization, business, or team. Active wear leaves the longest lasting impression. See Winning Edge in Mount Vernon or WinningEdgeUSA.com. They're trying to work into Hannah. Hannah just inside the post, and it was tipped out of bounds, it looked like, by Triad. And so it remained with the Lady Rams with 52.5 seconds left to go in the half, up 24-13. So it'll be Ryan up top. Looking inside, Hannah past the defenders. Too strong. Rebound will go to Thompson, and here come the Knights. Had to stop for a moment in the backcourt, let the numbers get into the front court. Now across the timeline, right side, it's Hannah Johnson. Going to hand off as Basler will come around to the top with 33 seconds left to go in the first half. 24-13 score, 11-point lead for Mount Vernon. As Johnson has it up top, the lefty with the left hand. Chick is with it off the left wing. And here comes Thompson. Thompson looking inside. Nope, they're going to tip it out to Basler with 16 seconds. And it looks as if Triad will be content with the last shot until that happens. Of course, that's just a six-team foul on the Lady Rams. A little bit of a reach mm. up top. You don't want that. Second foul on Owen. That's one of those you wanted to get out of the half with her just having one, not two. And it'll come from Burroughs, side of the bounds on the near sideline from our vantage point, which is opposite that of the video. As Johnson will dribble to the left wing, now into the left corner. That'll be Thompson with six seconds. Lady Rams are up 11, and Courtney does a great job defensively. Tips the pass out of bounds, jumping up in jumping jack form. So now the inbound will be in front of the Lady Ram bench. Front court action here from Shagnon Gymnasium. Five seconds left in the quarter. That's going to be a quick play inside to Woods. Left it long. Got her own rebound up and in. Wow. Mount Vernon got caught watching. Got caught napping. It's going to cost him a double-digit lead and give Triad some momentum heading into that second half. What they could ill afford happens, and Woods will go to the line to shoot the and one. It's one of those you, you just play defense, you get out of half, you're up 11, and now with a made free throw, you're going to be only up eight, and Triad goes to the locker and a little bounce and giddy up in their step. Free throw in route. 
is no good. And the rebound will go back door. Lady Rams will not get a shot up. We have reached the end of the first half. The Lady Rams 24, the Lady Knights 15. We'll come back with your second chance auto halftime show. This is Lady Rams basketball from WMIX Sports. Hi, this is Joe David Cummins, President of Community First Bank. By now you have heard about our new One Checking product. The new One account is a high interest earning free checking account designed for everyone. Unlike other banks that pay interest on higher balance, this account pays interest on all balance. From high schoolers to Warren Buffett, One will work for you. You can talk to one of us at 244-3000 and learn about the details. One, exclusively at Community First Bank. You will be one happy customer, member FDIC. Too expensive to get back into shape? Not anymore. Red Lake College's new fitness center is only $53 per semester. They've also thought of everything with universal machines, free weights, treadmills with dedicated TV screens, ellipticals, and more. Qualified dance instructors are also available. Or go at your own pace with DVDs that can be used in the exercise room. Best of all, it's open seven days a week. Check out the Red Lake College Fitness Center in the marketplace off Potomac Boulevard in Mount Vernon. Or log on to redlakecollege.edu slash Center. More Americans are on the move today than ever before. One of the most popular modes of transportation is the motorcycle. Motorcycles take us to our jobs, school, to the beach, and all around the country. If you're a bike rider, your Pekin Insurance Agency, Page Insurance on Crown View in Mount Vernon, wants to make sure you have the best insurance protection while you're riding. Ask about the money-saving auto cycle discount and the experienced driver discount, too. Call Page Insurance at 2427000 today about motorcycle insurance from Pekin Insurance. This is Chase Landers with Landers Collision Centers. Imagine this. You're driving down the road. It's dark as can be outside. Thank goodness you just had that left headlight bulb replaced. Otherwise, you wouldn't be able to see a thing. Now, close your eyes. Okay, don't close your eyes. You're supposed to be driving. Imagine noticing a slight twinkle off to the left, just above the ditch. What is that, you think to yourself? All of a sudden, whack! You've just encountered your first deer hit. The left side of your vehicle is beat up pretty bad. The next thing I want you to imagine is very simple. Picking up your phone and dialing one triple eight landers to set up your repair. Your claims are common and usually a very simple process which fall under comprehensive coverage. This is Chase Landers asking you to allow landers to be your collision repair shop of choice. Whether it be a deer hit, fender bender, or the regular, uh-oh, sorry mom, Landers is here for you whenever you need it. Big or small, Landers fixes them all. One triple eight Landers, that's one, eight 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 Landers. There's a good reason why Second Chance Auto has been in business for 33 years. They believe in doing business the right way. With honest deals, it's the only way they know. And thanks to Second Chance Auto, you don't have to head out of town to get financing. They offer bank rate financing to everyone. Yes, everyone. You'll find a great selection of quality vehicles with three month or 3,000 mile warranties. Come see why they've been successful for 33 years at Second Chance Auto. Route 142 East in Mount Vernon. Call 244-4582. This is Mount Vernon Lady Rams basketball from WMIX Sports. The second chance auto halftime show starts now. And we welcome you back inside Shagnon Gymnasium here at the half. Lady Rams lead Triad Lady Knights 24 to 15. There's a reason Second Chance has been around for 33 years. No fancy sales or gimmicks, just honest deals at Second Chance Auto. Route 142 East in Mount Vernon. Of course, bank rate financing for all in addition to the largest selection of pre-owned vehicles priced at $10,000 in one location. 24-15. Lady Rams are up nine here at the half. We'll come back with scoring and stats after this. This is Lady Rams basketball powered by Community First Bank. The Medicine Shop Pharmacy offers convenience and great service, all for the same cost. Our pharmacy staff is so helpful. They're always ready to answer any questions you may have. You'll never wait hours for your prescription. We'll get you in and out in just minutes. Or, for added convenience, use one of our two drive through windows. For those folks who prefer to stay home, our delivery service will bring the medications to your front door or your workplace. Here's pharmacist and pharmacy owner Eric Black to tell you more. Home delivery does make us stand out from the crowd. Independents uh, like the medicine shop offer home delivery. People find that so convenient. And not just seniors, uh, but also busy professionals. Delivery to work or to their home once they get home in the evening. It's just a, a service that sets us apart from our competition, absolutely. It's so easy to transfer your prescriptions. All it takes is a phone call from you, and we'll take care of the rest. The Medicine Shop Pharmacy accepts Medco, TRICARE, Express Scripts, and many other 90-day plans. The Medicine Shop, 2339 Broadway in Mount Vernon. 
Broadcasting live from the WMIX Sports Mobile Studios, driven by King City Chrysler, this is Mount Vernon Lady Rams Basketball. And we welcome you back inside Shagna Gymnasium. Second Chance Auto Halftime Show. Second Chance has the largest selection of pre-owned vehicles priced under $10,000 in one location. Not only that, bank rate financing for all is available. Check them out at Route 142 East in Mount Vernon. Proud Rams supporters, Second Chance Auto. 24-15, Lady Rams are up nine here at the half over Triad. We have your scoring and stats. Mount Vernon, 8 of 18 from two-point range, 44%. Hit one out of four threes for 25. The Lady Rams, one of seven. Or I should say 9 of 22 from the field for 41%. Triad was 5 of 11 from two-point range, 45%. 1 of 7 from the arc for 14. Triad goes 6 of 18 from the field for 33%. Free throw shooting, Mount Vernon was 5 of 10, 50%. Triad 2 of 7, 29%. Rebounding all ran, Lady Rams 23 to 8. Mount Vernon had 7 turnovers compared to Triad who had 6. The Lady Knights were led by St Sophie Thompson with 6 points. Hannah Johnson, four, Sam Basler, three, and then Sam Woods had two. Mount Vernon was led by Claire Ryan with eight. Hannah Owens, or I should say Claire Ryan with 12. Hannah Owens, eight. Courtney Scarborough, three, and Makai Rush, two. Halftime score of Mount Vernon, 24, Triad, 15. There you go. We'll take another break. We'll come back on your second chance auto halftime show, and we'll have a Tony Wilts scoreboard update. This is Lady Rams basketball on top of Triad at the half, 24-15, from WMIX Sports. If you haven't seen it, you're missing out. Hi, Roy Schmidt, Jeep dealer at King City Chrysler Center, Mount Vernon. The all-new redesigned 2014 Jeep Grand Cherokee is a sight to behold. Unrivaled, the all-new Grand Cherokee sets extraordinary new standards for performance, luxury, and attention to detail. From its daytime running headlamps to its power-heated pulling mirrors with puddle lamps, ruggedly good-looking and muscular exterior profile, the 2014 Grand Cherokee is engineered with a style and elegance that's backed by the confidence of its all-weather capability and Jeep brand strength. Imagine how great that would look sitting in your driveway. The 2014 Grand Cherokee is truly the best of what Jeep is made of. Come see one of our associates at King City Crisis Center at 1603 Broadway in Mount Vernon, Illinois, or see our selection online at kingcitychrysler.com. Broadcasting live from the WMIX Sports Mobile Studios, driven by Fort Square, this is Mount Vernon Lady Rams Basketball. And we welcome you back on WMIX-FM, WMIXSports.com. Here at the half at Shagnon Gymnasium, the Lady Rams have a nine-point advantage over the Triad Lady Knights. It's 24-15 here at the break. Pretty good first half for Mount Vernon Lady Ram basketball. Of course, Chris Hugo with Danny Zerwinski alongside. Had a long trip back from Effingham, but of course he's made it. Speaking of that game at Effingham in the St. Anthony shootout, Waltonville fell to the Dietrich moving Maroons 53-45. You heard it on AM 940. In the game prior to that, Oka Valley beat Clay City 52-34. Mount Pulaski did beat Stustras. Forgot to write down Stustras score, but I can tell you that Mount Pulaski had 58 points. In the Ernie Bozarth Thanksgiving tournament, that is still going on. Of course, mm -hmm. it was postponed a time or two. Yeah. Carterville beat Roosevelt 57-27. Add to that, Murphy beat Dupo 66-43. Nice. Write that down. Did you write that down? What was it to what was uh, it? Murphy beat Dupo 66-43. 66-43. You can also add, uh, I can find it here, our friends from a respective media outlet up north helping us out. Matt Pulaski beat Stu Strauss today 58-53. There we go. Had a good time uh, with some friends we'll see at Salem all week. Oh, yeah. Oh, we had a good time. We had good. a great three-quarters of a game talk about nothing that was going on on the floor. That's the best kind. And we had a great time about pairings, release dates, why not, how come, and <laughs> yeah. uh, Cub baseball. It's a good time. Nice. Good time up there. Of course, Marshall County, Kentucky, Gus Gillespie's squad beat Goreville 70-53 today. Girls basketball side, Flora beat St. Anthony 44-33. Benton beat Cobb in 48-12 in the Carbon or Carterville pardon me, winter tournament. Carterville beat ZRC 66-52. South Seven Conference action. Carbondale beats Centralia 61 to 48, and the Woodlawn Lady Cardinals come up just short. We tweeted it a moment ago on Twitter at WMIX Sports. Lady Cardinals come up just short in their upset bet at North Clay 65 to 63. So North Clay will play for a championship tonight against the winner of Wayne City and Sandoval. Woodlawn will get the loser in the third place game. That scoreboard update is presented by Tony Wilcher, State Farm agent in Mount Vernon. Find him on the corner of 42nd and South Water Tower. Or you can find them online at TonyWilt.com. 24-15 the score here. Lady Rams up nine. and 16 minutes if they can hang on. 
away from a victory. Be all right. I think they'd take 1-0 in 2014. A lot of teams would right now. Some teams don't have an 0-0. Have an <laughs> yeah. I mean, I could not believe for this start how many cars are still in a ditch, turned upside down and everything else, still left. Just how do you leave your car for hours and days on end? And no, well, the no tow ban went on forever, but I guess they can't contact you. I don't know. That was just a mess. Yeah. I don't envy anybody who was stuck out of this. Try and start with the basketball, but Micaiah Rush going to tip it around for a wow. turnover and gets the layup. What a nice play by Micaiah there. Nice start to the half, and what a great job. She's playing quality minutes. Triad's wanting to challenge that. They thought she stepped out of bounds. Throw a flag. NFL's already on today. <laughs> going to miss my team tonight more than likely. Inside, it's going to be Thompson leaving it short. Makaya Rush with the rebound. Off of the strong side, 26-15. Lady Rams are up 11 with 7.22 to play in the third quarter. A quarter that's brought to you by Community First Bank of the Heartland, the official voice of the Lady Rams here on WYX. Oh. Nice little move by Hannah Owens. Faked one way, went the other. And now we're going to have a time on the floor for Triad. 28-15 the score. What a good play by that Hannah. That was one. She leaned left, left shoulder, right block, left shoulder. And when she leaned, the defender moved that way. Hannah felt that weight shift. And she went right shoulder on the right block, reverse. And, man, it was a nice play. That's a lot. That's a, that's a big-time move there. That was a you big, can snicker big down time the, move. You can snicker down the floor on that if you want. 28-15 the score, 13-point game. Third quarter action from Shagdown Gymnasium. That time out is presented by the Medicine Shop Pharmacy at 2339 Broadway. Dr. Eric Black and staff proud to support the local community as well as the Lady Rams for another season. 7-10 to go in the third. Tried with the basketball to be Johnson in the backcourt. Right-hand dribble. Gets to the volleyball line. Still waiting across the timeline. Finally does right at the circle. Now comes left side. Gets to the wing. Kicks off. Basler with the basketball. Works free throw line. Going to drop it off. Burrows up top. She's trying to work her way in. Tried to get fancy. Lost the basketball. Courtney almost has it stolen away. Able to recover and maintain her pivot. And now passes across the timeline. Woof. Kaya Rush got double duty. She'll play here and then she'll cheer tonight. Then she'll, I believe, as long as she still plays, will play softball in the spring. Busy. Busy young woman. Of course, that's going to be unintentionally tipped to Ryan, who goes off, off iron and gets it. Yeah, draw it up in the dirt. Happen to go your way. That's the kind of thing that's been going well when you play well. You get those bounces. Claire making a case to be your player of the game with 13 points here in the 618 to go in the third. Shot yeah. from up top is no good. That should just be two shots. It's the rush. Rush will pick up the foul. Hate to say too much because she's had a good day. But that will send number 23, Sophie Thompson, to the line. Or she will shoot too. Lady Rams have started, had a basically a hot start here to your third quarter. Let's see what mm -hmm. Triad can do at the line. Makes the first. And they needed to after giving up that two point play right at the half. Get back on some momentum. Looks like your starters. It's Rush, Ryan, Sanders, Scarborough, and Owens. Almost an alphabetical order. Certainly not numerical. It was a second free throw good by Thompson. 30 to 17. Lady Rams up a Baker's dozen. Otherwise known as 13, so I'll stop saying that. Off of the right wing. It's Ryan. Look for the lob play inside. Find Sanders underneath the defender. Oh, took some bad English off of the iron. And now Sanders will go to the line to shoot too. Yeah, I couldn't get one to drop there. Just kind of rolled off. First foul on Triad. That's the third on Strom. Always impressed with Triad. They always have about seven, eight, nine gals ready to go all the time against you. The first free throws missed. 6.04 left in the third. Should be interesting tonight. The Hornets of Northwest Academy of Law come into town. Thunder. For the, the NWA. <laughs> That's straight the out of, way to do it. Straight out of St. Louis. Yeah, straight out of St. Louis. As the free throw is good, 31-17, 1-2 to two <laughs> that time for Hannah. There is already or budding interest how we're going to use NWA tonight. Oh, yeah. Uh, there is already interest. What are we going to do and say? I said tune There's in There's two different ways we could go. And all of them good. <laughs> to be the man. <laughs> <laughs> or I think there's also an airline yeah. back in the day. Back when you had a lot of regionals. Yeah. 5.45 to play in the third. Coming around, that's going to be Basler. And there's a foul oh. before she can get to the baseline. The NWA has played a lot of good teams. Do not let the name or the jokes that we are playing think any different. That's a pretty decent team coming in tonight. They're pretty salty. Maybe not Carbondale, but they're decent. 
eight and five, I believe. Quick handoff to get it in. Whoops. What? Thompson, the three on the way from the right is good. So it's 31 20. Lady Ram lead was 15, now just 11. Thompson's having a decent day. But there's Rush. He's going to lob it to Sanders. And that's a good job. Oh, Sanders comes up just short off the left block. Rebound to Triad. Was going to give a lot of credit on that play, but Rush did a great job. She was trying to avoid a travel. It was a high pass to Sanders. Oops. And now Triad's going to turn it over as they pass to Jeff Lonnan. What you can do worse, we can do worse better. Coach Lonnan does not look happy. He has more of a confused scowl on his face than an upset scowl. Yeah, I mean, that's... Miracle man. Yeah. It's one of those where if the coach catches the basketball off a pass, you don't want to be the one going under subbing out. Uh-uh. 5-10 to play in the third. 31-20. Lady Rams with the basketball in the front court as they go left to right. Left wing, that's going to be Micaiah Rush. Looking up top for Hester who checks it. Oh. Ball fake inside. There was nothing there. Throws across the way to Claire Ryan, who will dribble with a left hand and take it back to the top. Reset the Lady Ram offense with 4.52 to play in the third. Nice spin move off the dribble, and Claire, is, I don't know how she got the shot off. Her back was flying toward the basket as she released, but it was a shot on goal, you could say, and she'll go to the line to shoot, too. Well, worked out. As Burroughs came across and kind of stopped, and Claire bumped and spun, and her back was to the basket when she was trying to shoot. She makes the first one, though. She's having a great afternoon. 32-20. Let's see if the Lady Rams can expand to 13 with 4.47 left to go in the third quarter. Chris Hugo with Danny Zerwinski alongside. Jeff Crow with us taking care of the camera angles on WMAXSports.com. It's Quentin Lloyd back at our mound for the studio. We'll see him tonight as he is part of the Ram drum line. I think he has the cymbals tonight. He's classically trained on multiple instruments, by the way. If you ever need a classically trained musician for a party, he might do outside work. He might be for hire. Don't know. Back to the game, 33-20. Lady Rams up 13 off of the right elbow and right block. Basler's blocked from behind by Ryan. Shot was up and no good. Ooh. I think if Micaiah doesn't try for that rebound, Lady Rams have the basketball because she did not touch it. Goes out of bounds. And Woods tried to get it, had the shot go up, and now Triad gets the basket right, or shits the ball right of their own bucket. Basler a three from the left wing. Ryan got a hand on that. You could hear it. And now the rebound will come out in their corner. Should be Lady Ram basketball. Yep. We'll help you out. John Kuzak's here. Is he really? Yeah, right there. Nice. Look at the tie. <laughs> nice. Uh -huh. Good times. Yeah. 4-10 to play in the third quarter. Lady Rams are up 13, 33-20. Nearing the midway point, the WMAX Sports Mobile Studios are driven by Ford Square. Hannah Owens is going to drive off baseline. No good. Rolled off the front of the iron. And now the rebound almost saved by Rush, but it'll go with Triad. She did save the rebound, but she lost her balance on the baseline. Stepped out. Pretty first bank of the heartland is the official voice of Lady Rams basketball. Ask about one checking, featuring free checking and high yield interest. One means more. Pretty first bank and their five at Jefferson County branches. Thompson up top, going to drop it off. Basler off the right wing, dribbles over to Thompson in the corner. Right in front of the Triad bench on the sideline. 3.38 to play in the third, 33-20 the score. Lady Rams trying to hang on. Not quite as lopsided as the game at Nashville back when. But Hannah will get away with the foul and the timeout called by the triad coach, Mr. Hunt. This timeout is presented by the Medicine Shop Pharmacy at 2339 Broadway in Mount Vernon. See them for all of your pharmaceutical needs. Dr. Eric Black and staff, of course, always support the local community as well as the Rams and Lady Rams. Pretty decent second half for Mount Vernon so far. I think. Huh. There's some things to work on probably. Well, they, you know, a little rust. Haven't played a game in over two weeks. Trying to get some stuff done. I mean, a win here today would help heading into next week. Of course, Carbondale, that big rematch coming on Thursday. And you want to get something positive here today. And, you know, Triad's glad to be out of the house. And then Mount Vernon wants to, to get something going, you know. They need to get something going here. Triad down 33-20 as they call the timeout here in the third quarter. <laughs> Scores are presented by Tony Wilt, your state farm agent here in Mount Vernon. Find him online at TonyWilt.com. Look for him in his office at the corner of 42nd and South Water Tower or try to find the white state farm jeep around town. Carbondale beats Centralia today in girls' action, 61-48. to <laughs> Carbondale's aforementioned will be here on Thursday night. JV 
Lady Rams beat Triad 33-28 in overtime. It was tied at 26 after regulation. 3.31 left in the third. Inbound will come side out of bounds and for the Triad bench. Nice little give and go play here. Runner in the lane is no good Johnson. That's going to be a blocking foul on Rush. It's, not, it's interesting to see the different interpretations of block charge when we were told yep. before the year started it would be a rarity to see a block or see a charge. In that case, it was a block. But last night we saw a few charges. Around Christmas time we saw a few charges. Kind of like strike throw. zone used to be in Major League Baseball. Exactly. Interpretation. But very consistent with it here, and you appreciate that. As Johnson misses the first, she'll have another. The old Johnson and Johnson at the line. Second one's no good. Rebound will fall to Miriam Hester. Claire Ryan within the backcourt. Right hand dribble. 323 left to go in the third. We can see. There's I know. The sun's speaking behind a cloud. Corneas are on fire. <laughs> right. Corner three. No good from Scarborough. Bounces off the iron. It's going to be. Well, I don't even know. That's a. That's a. He's been helping scrum. him a mess out down there. Yeah. Mount Vernon will keep it on the scrum. Scoble in. Rush out. You can see the birthday boy come to life. It's now we're getting all kinds of retweets from at Bucket Hat One. Yeah. Quick. What was that? I was going to say a quick backdoor inbound, but it was tipped out. Looked like that one was Johnson. So the Lady Rams will redo. It'll be left of their bucket this time off of the baseline in front of the Chaos Cage. With 3.09 left to go in the third. 33 20. Scoble will trigger. They feign backdoor to Owens. They're going to have to get it in somebody. It's in the corner, Ryan. Good ball fake. Pumps it backdoor. It's going to be Scoble. No. Leaves it short. Hester fights for the rebound. How can you uh, travel when you don't have possession? Yeah. How many layups did the Lady Rams miss? About 10, 12? Too many. Never mind the fact you have to have possession to travel. 3-0-1 to play in the third quarter. 33-20 the score. 13-point game. Johnson's going to drive with the left hand at the elbow. Hands off. Here comes that's Sophie Thompson. Now Basler coming from the wing. Dribbles in. Just, ooh, shot blocked. Dribbled into a shot. It's kicked out of bounds off of the foot of Triad. Good catch, baseline official. Mm -hmm. That guy's all over it. He's been great today. He is good. This whole like crew's him. very good. I like how emphatic he is with his mechanics. Doing a great job. Oh, they're very good. Don't get me wrong. I didn't mean anything by what I said earlier. They're doing a great job today. 2.44 to play in the third quarter. Scarborough across the timeline. Going off left in front of Jeff Lonnen. Now throws across the way. Good pass to Claire Ryan. Dangerous pass, but it was good. Scoble with it off the left wing. That's Colleen. Now to the top. Ooh. Owens is going to kick out to Hester. Greedy First Bank of the Heartland. Guess what? Five Jefferson County branches in response to quality service for all of your counts. That's quality service underneath. Miriam Hester, 35-20. She wears 3-1. One. one means more at Community First Bank. Free high-yield checking. Or free checking, high-yield interest. That too. 35-20. Lady Rams are up 15. Their largest lead tied for it anyway as Thompson is going to come around. Not get the continuation. Came from the wing. Tried to go baseline curl. But now it's going to be a baseline inbound. Fourth foul. Oh, first foul on Scoville. Second on the team. Or third. Uh-oh. Butterfingers. It went right through the hands. And Ryan's there to pick up the turnover on the interception. It was inbounded from the baseline. 158 to play in the third quarter. Owens with it off of the right wing. Left hand dribble with 153 to go in the third. Rim Lake College powers our video streaming. Visit them online at rlc.edu and see how you can save thousands of dollars on your collegiate education. Off of the right wing, it's Hannah Owens. Scoble left wing, back to the right side. Scarborough is out of nowhere. Sped to get that one. Now right wing, it's Ryan. Left hand dribble, nice bounce pass. Scoble baseline jumper, yes! Wow. Good look. Scoble gets into the book. Mount Vernon, other people contributing. It's a whole team contributing today, which is good to see. 118 to play in the third quarter. If you missed the Saturday Sports Show this morning, you missed a dandy. It's online at WMIXSports.com, as it always is. With a minute 11 to go in the third, Triad foul, trying to come down the middle of the paint. Well, they have to quit playing Johnson like she's right-handed. That's what Mount Vernon did last two times she's gotten to the rim. They've made her go to her strong side. So Johnson at the line, trying to chip into the 17-point deficit with a minute 11 to go in the third. First free throw is good. I actually like Johnson. I like the way she plays. Five points unofficially on the night, as long as I haven't lost track, as Owens will check out for Sanders. So it's Sanders, Hester, Ryan, Scarborough, and Scoble.
Johnson's second one is no good. Rebound will go to Sanders. 108 to play in the third. Lady Rams up 16, 37-21. Ryan across the timeline at the circles. Going to bounce it over to the left wing, Scoble. To Hester up top. 58 seconds left to go in the third. Let's see what happens. As off the sideline, handoff will go to Ryan. Ryan's going to turn around on a dribble. Go back to the circle. Now off to the right side with 47 seconds left. Nice bounce pass over to Scoble. Has to come off of the baseline to get it. Throws back to the top. Winning Edge has a new store in Mount Vernon at 212 South 9th Street. Plenty of Rams apparel for your liking. See all of their MVTHS activewear and apparel. Winning Edge. Or see if they can customize for you at winningedgeusa.com. One of our Rams boosters. 26 seconds left. Left wing. There we go. Ryan's looking at our knee scarb. Or excuse me, Sanders. Shot was short. Tip, rebound tipped out of bounds. It'll belong with Triad. Ow. That's no good. Got graphite in my skin now. It's all right. It's yeah. not lead. It'll grow out. 14 seconds to go. Triad with the basketball. Basler across the timeline. Coming off to the near side with nine seconds. 37-21 the score. Off to the right wing. Had a wide open lane. Shot blocked by Scarborough. Rebound to Hester. Ryan at half court with two seconds. Launches a long three. It's going to be short. And that is the end of your third quarter. The Mount Vernon Lady Rams 37. The Triad Lady Knights 21. This is Lady Rams basketball powered by Community First Bank. Friendly College's Adult Volunteer Literacy Program is looking for volunteers to help stop adult illiteracy. Give the gift of reading and be a hero forever. Renly College will provide you with training and materials to help adults develop the basic reading ability needed to excel. You can work one-on-one, -on -one, tutor a small group, or work with students in an adult education classroom. Experience the joy of helping others and change a life. Call Renly College's Volunteer Partnership toll-free at 800-369-5321, extension 1342. Hi, this is Joe David Cummins, President of Community First Bank. Now is a great time to move your account to Community First Bank. With our new one account offering the highest interest rate in the market, free checking, and CD specials delivered by people you know and trust, why would you not bank with a market leader in Jefferson County? We offer five locations with seven ATMs and have been serving the Jefferson County market since 1906. Stop in and see why our bank is the fastest growing bank in Jefferson County. Community First Bank, welcome back to Personal Banking, member FDIC. Streaming worldwide at WMIXSports.com. This is Mount Vernon Lady Rams basketball from WMIX Sports. And we welcome you back to Shagnon Gym here in the WMIX Sports Mobile Studios, driven by King City Chrysler Center. Lady Rams lead triad 37-21. It'll be night basketball to start. In the front court, they go in their away blacks with white trim, white numerics trimmed in red. That's Basler with it up top. Right to left they go. Hot in here. Woods with it off of the deep right wing. Going to drop it off to the far side for Strom. Back between the circles. Basler with the left hand. Throws to the near side. Burrows with it. Trying to fake pass the defender. Pulls up in the lane. Good. Nice, nice move. Her first points of the game. Wow. Yeah. That's interesting in itself. 37-23. Lady Rams on top. Looking for win number seven on the year. With 7.20 to play in the fourth quarter. Off of the right wing, Scarborough looking inside. Nothing there. It's going to go up top to Owens with 7.14 to play here in the fourth quarter. Sanders with it off of the right arc. Looking back to the left for Ryan with 7.07 to go. Up 14. Lady Rams up a pair of touchdowns over a triad. These two teams play in three team sports to my knowledge. Football, baseball, and girls basketball. Be nice if they played in every sport because they're in the same conference. Is that's going to be a double dribble off the left wing turnover, Lady Rams? Up by 14. Now, if you're Jeff Lon and you don't want to get into some bad habits being by 14, this game's you know obviously Mount Vernon got it in hand, and I don't think with Triad they're down 14. They've only scored five, eight, and eight in each quarter. So mathematically speaking, they can't come back. You just don't want to get sloppy doing things right now. 6.45 left. We'll see what happens. Community First Bank of the Heartland, the official voice of high school sports on WMIX. Ask about one checking. Featuring free checking and high yield interest. One means more at Community First Bank. 6.33 left with it up top. That's Thompson. Right hand dribble's going to shake to the outside. Gives off to Burroughs. Three on the way. Yes. Wow. See what I'm saying? You don't want to get sloppy. Burroughs on a 5-0 run herself. Got, has gotten. Tried back to within 11. 6-18 to play in the fourth quarter. 37-26 down to 11. Sanders gets underneath. Better. Beat the defense back. Got an easy bunny. 
Tony Wilt brings you our scoreboard updates. TonyWilt.com on the corner of 42nd and South Water Tower. Look for the White State Farm Jeep around town. Benton Ranger at Speed Cobden, 48-12 today at the Carterville Winter Tournament. Carbondale beats Centralia, 61-48. They'll be here Thursday. <laughs> Waltonville fell to Dietrich today, 53-45. That archive will be up later tonight on WMIXSports.com. Don't have time to get it up today, unfortunately. Game times ran too close. Inside off of the miss. Good put back there by Triad. I think that was Woods. If not, somebody of similar Sammy, ilk. Sam Woods. That's who it was. 39-28, 11-point game. 5.25 to play in the fourth quarter. We're back at it tonight, this very gymnasium. Northwest Academy of Law comes in to... Take on the Malford and Rams. Too bad it could have been a doubleheader with Triad. Dot your eyes and cross your T's. There you go. Bring a briefcase. Could have been a quadruple header with Triad. Yeah, could have. Heck, play freshman soft. Fresh freshman games while you're oh, at no, it. Oh, we need to play each other. <laughs> <laughs> Lady Rams off a miss. Triad with the rebound. Into the left wing. That was Burroughs. Now it'll be off of the right block. Woods after a quick touch from Thompson. Now it gives back to Burroughs off the sideline. Three partially blocked. Rebound tipped out of bounds off of Mount Vernon. It should be triad basketball. Front row. That's. Yeah, One of those deals, you're still up 11, but you just don't feel like triad can run some points together if you play defense. Quick lob was tipped away by Scarborough. She kept trying to go after it. Give her credit for sticking with the play. She'll pick up a foul on the far sideline. It'll be a side out of bounds now for Burroughs and the Knights with 4.45 left. Down 11. It's 39-28. That was a bump from behind. They're going to get it. Should be a baseline inbound now. As that'll be the sixth foul on the Lady Rams. That'll be free throws the rest of the way for Triad. Troy, St. Jacob, and Marine are the communities that comprise the Triad School District. More about that as quick dribble Lane Basler leaves it back door, and that's going to be a basket for Morgan Chickas. 39-30. Triad High School, if I'm not mistaken, used to be in St. Jacob, technically, by mailing address. St. Jacob Triad, it used to be known. They're off of Highway 40. 420 left in the fourth quarter, 39-30. Now, back in the day... Mount Vernon and St. Jacob Triad used to play regularly in boys basketball in the regular season, if I'm not mistaken, outside of tournament play. At least they did once. As they should now. Yes. 4.05 to play in the fourth. Pass is going to be tipped away. Risky passing. Burroughs going to come length of the floor. Ooh. Owens is going to come try to defend the play and pick up the foul. And that's her fourth. You know, again, Mount Vernon's gotten a little sloppy in this quarter. And that's why Triad is still now nine. And he got to be impressed with Triad. Much improved since we saw him at the Nashville Invitational. Not bad for a team that probably hasn't practiced much since Christmas. Four minutes to go on the fourth at the line. It'll be Burrow shooting free throws. She misses the first. And if they could have one thing they would like to probably practice, it'd be their free throws. I doubt many have gyms inside their homes. And it would have been a nearly impossible outside. As the second one's on the way, and it's no good. Rebound will be tipped away. Rush got a hand on it. It'll be tipped all the way back to the top. Here comes Thompson. She'll reset to Basler at the circle with 3.52 left to go. 39-30. Lady Rams are up nine. Glad to have you with us on WYXFM and WYXSports.com. We'll have this video archive up later tonight. Coming off the left side. Good post up and a wow. foul. Good job by Burroughs. Get off the left block. Posted up. Got the basket. And now the foul to make it a six-point game. Lady Rams are starting to unravel a little bit. Starting to unravel. And Triad's dug down a little bit and decided to get things going their way. And they are going to get some more points, it looks like. Burroughs has seven in the second half. Looking for eight, and it'll be no good, but she left the free throw line a little early. Oh, she didn't mean to. She was just trying to get a rebound. I knew what she was trying to Mount do. Mount Vernon's clock watching. Kind of like, all right, how much time? Let's get this over and try it right in the middle of this, down three baskets. Ryan in the backcourt, right side. Over the timeline, left to rush with 3.34 left. Off a double-team trap in the corner. Jeff Lawn wants a timeout. He'll get it. This timeout is presented by the Medicine Shop Pharmacy as he barks out full. So it'll be a minute timeout with 3.31 left to go in the fourth quarter. Lady Rams are up seven. It's 39-32, but certainly not the position they thought they'd be in. Up 14 a moment ago. No, and, and 
Credit Triad again for not giving up, not backing down, digging in and saying, you know what, we can get this done, we can do this, we can uh, come back in this. And a team with a losing record this time of year as you roll in the second half, that's kind of tough for teams to do, but they're doing it right now. Timeout is presented by the Medicine Shop Pharmacy. 2339 Broadway in Mount Vernon. Chris Hugo with Danny Zerwinski alongside. Jeff Crow, of course, takes care of the camera angles on WMIXSports.com. Quentin Lloyd back at our Mount Vernon studio. Nerd night in the cage, they have said, for the chaos cage tonight. 39-32 the score. Oh, should be an interesting night. Curious to see what kind of crowd comes out for Northwest Academy of Law. It's not your name that's going to maybe draw a lot of fans, so you don't know if they're going to travel very well. You don't well, know what so. kind of buzz they're going to have about them. <laughs> the Hornets. The Hornets of NWA. We'll see what kind of sting they have tonight. Off of the right block. Ryan, a good layup. Oh, she's got to be player of the game. Oh, yeah, she's having a great night. Lady Ram lead is back to nine, 41-32. Community First Bank of the Heartland is the official voice of high school sports here on WMIX. Five Jefferson County branches. A response of quality service for all of your accounts and friends and neighbors on staff who understand your needs. One means more at Community First Bank. Just for one, free checking, high yield interest. Left wing shot was no good for Triad. Lady Rams with the defensive rebound and into the front court. It's Ryan. Trying to beat the defender here. Johnson's going to play her right as she should. Off block as Claire recovered and got the foul. Got the points, got the foul. Into the line will go Claire Ryan to try to extend this lead to 12. She has 20. What a night for Claire, uh -huh. or afternoon even. She's found a weakness. She's exploited said weakness, and she's got hers. As she will miss the free throw, iron not kind. 43-32, 2.48 to play here in the fourth quarter. That was a good call. That was a great call by the official. An 11-point game, easy to overlook that. And that that official is right on top of that double dribble. 2.44 left to go. Inbound into the backcourt, side of the bounds in front of the triad bench. It's Ryan with it now in the backcourt. Right hand dribble, switches left, and she'll cross the timeline. Almost got away from her, able to recover, but had to pick up across the timeline, and she's fouled as she tries to force a pass to Rush, who came up to provide some help. This will be, I believe, just the fourth foul on triad. Uh huh. Quick inbound from the side near the scorer's table for Rush. Gets it into Ryan. Ryan trying to dribble against Johnson, who's done a decent job on Ryan, except for the 20 points. Not been easy to guard tonight. Off of the right wing. Nice play. Good tip from Ryan to Owens. Shot is high off the glass. Got her own rebound. Puts it up no good. A lot of contact, but it's tipped to Scarborough who puts it up. Too long. Rebound to be tipped out of. Nope. Triad does a great job recovering. Good tiptoes there. Then traveled the basketball off of the baseline. Lady Rams get it right back. Much to the chagrin of the triad faithful. They were not happy with that call. Video streaming on WMAXSports.com is presented by Renlake College. See, save thousands on your college education. I'm not well, certain, but I think that was a foul. I think that's what they believe out of the right yeah. corner. Sanders going to give it back to the right wing for Ryan. Left hand dribble trying to work inside. Gets past the free throw line. Now mid post jumper. No good. Clanked off of the back iron and bounced to Basler. Here comes Triad off of the defensive board. Basler races the front court, takes it herself. Shot no good off the right block. Owens fouls out with 10. That's her fifth, much to her chagrin. Didn't see much there, but she'll go out with five fouls, 10 points. A minute 55 left to go in regulation. Lady Rams are up 11, 43-32, and Sam Basler will go to the line to shoot to. Good win, you're gonna win, but ugh, there's some things to work on, as they say. If you will. First free throw short. Let's see if she overcompensates and goes long on the second. Uh oh. <coughs> Waiting for the second free throw from Sam Basler at the line, and she will miss it. It was short again that time. Rebound to the Lady Rams with a minute 52 left. Here in the fourth quarter, and that's going to be a bump foul on Johnson. 
Probably getting tired of everything that Ms. Ryan has done to her tonight. And with a minute 49 left to go, you pretty well assured of a Lady Ram victory. The law of averages, as we told you about earlier, certainly not in favor of Triad. As there's a timeout on the floor, it's presented by the Medicine Shop Pharmacy. 23-39 Broadway in Mount Vernon as this game is extended. Up 11 are the Lady Rams. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, I noticed. I didn't know if something had changed. Nope. Not used to it. Been a while. Well, they'll clean them out, open the gym back up. Yeah, they'll probably get about, I don't know, about an hour break. So by the time they get everything cleaned up, it will be time to open it back up. Timeouts presented by the Medicine Shop Pharmacy, 2339 Broadway in Mount Vernon. Dr. Eric Black and staff proud to support the local community as well as the Rams and Lady Rams. Better get that hooked up. Be some disappointment. Yes. Minute 49 to play. Lady Rams will have it out of the timeout from the scorer's table. It's going to be rushed. Gets into Scarborough. Oh, nice little lob that left it short off of the baseline. Rebound to try at Scarborough trying to reach in. Burroughs lost the basketball, and that is going to be a travel out of the backcourt official. Yep. Now they're going to talk about it. I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Timeout was called first. Coach Lonnon kind of like, okay, yeah. I think everybody's just kind of like, really? Yeah. Minute 41 left. Yeah. After an overtime JV game. 43-32 is the score. It's 11 points. Lady Happens. Rams looking for win number seven on the year. The timeout's presented by the Medicine Shop Pharmacy at 23-39 Broadway in Mount Vernon. Dr. Black and staff proud to support the local community as well as the Rams and Lady Rams. Tell you oh, a little yeah. about Community First Bank here in a little bit, too. Jared Shainer's secluded, I'm sure, right now. Uh-huh. He has to work the boys' game tonight. Yeah. Somebody needs to toughen up. It's not that cold. <laughs> I had a bad feeling about the Seahawks. Twelfth man. I'd love the game tonight's one intrigues me. Uh-huh. Nice little pun today with Scott Gamber. Took him a second, but he got it. About the luck. A little too much luck. I think San Francisco, Carolina tomorrow is really interesting. I am Chargers, Broncos, I don't even have a – the only thing that could come out of the Chargers, Broncos, if Peyton gets to beat again in the playoffs, that's the only excitement that could happen. Right. But I could see the Chargers coming out and just bum rushing San Diego right out of the gate. Bang, 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 two, three touchdowns. But today's game's very intriguing. You betcha. Can't wait to see what happens next weekend. Off to the left arc. Triad with the basketball. Minute 36 to play. Stripped by Scarborough, but a foul. And that will send Triad to the line to shoot two. That's her fourth. Yep. Game that won't end. Community First Bank of the Heartland is the official voice of high school sports here on WIX. Five Jefferson County branches. In fact, in the time that it's going to take to play this last minute 35, you could probably travel to all five from here. Malvern and Dix, Woodlawn and Ina. Welcome back to Personal Banking, member of FDIC. I was checking our scoreboard tonight for Coach Gamber, how we could set that up across <laughs> the way. If you want signals or... I'm very concerned with that game. Free throws, no good. Rebound. We'll go to the Lady Rams. 43-32, 90 seconds left. Lady Rams on top. Off of the deep right wing, it's Courtney Scarborough. Looking back to the top for Ryan. And that's going to be a foul. Triad not giving up. You give them credit for that. Yep. Teaching moment. Still not in the bonus. And some other unpaid officials around the cha around seats in Chagnon this afternoon. Rush will trigger in the front court. Looking into the right side. Nothing there. Going to give to Scarborough. Tipped out of bounds. That'll be triad basketball. Yep. We can see it from our vantage point. Quick trigger. Oh, all alone. Everybody napping. There's Badzler, but left it short out of the right corner. Rebound will be Miriam Hester on her knees to come up with it. It'll be Scarborough in the front court up the right side. Comes Claire. Now jump stop in the lane. Good job by Isha. And she'll go to the line to shoot two on the foul. The foul. Foul called on that. Isha went up very strong that time. Too bad she couldn't make that. Foul was given. Nobody's got anywhere to go anyway. 
or anything to do. So I'm just going to wait it out here probably as first free throw is good by Isha. 44-32, Lady Rams on top, looking to make it 45. I mean, you know, what do you got to do, write a story? Sit around all day. <laughs> <laughs> As we communicate with those nearby. Yeah, yeah. Second Boy, free yeah. throw, no good. Rebound will go to Burroughs. Digs her way into the front court. Up top, looking to split the defense. Has it stripped away. Recovered by Woods. And Woods had trouble getting through the timbers. Jump ball, mountain Garn. ball. Fourth turnover on Triad under a minute to go. And the last five minutes have taken 30. Told you, you get to all five Community First Bank of the Heartland locations at the time it's going to take to play the rest of this game. Two at Mount Vernon, Dix, Woodlawn, and Ida. They are the market leader in Jefferson County and the official voice of the Rams. Good find, Hester. Right block, got it from the top off of the bounce pass, and Miriam Hester gets two more. It's 46-32. 42 seconds left. Triad races in the front court. Johnson from the left elbow is no good. Hester fights for the rebound. Jump ball favors right. the Knights. Yeah. In your Schmidt Chevrolet postgame show, we'll have a player of the game scoring in stats as well as a final Scoreboard update, at least for this game. We'll have more tonight. There'll be more detail and more neatly put together from my perspective tonight. As the inbound was tipped out of bounds. This is like extra time in soccer. You just never know. No doubt about that. Quick trigger from the right. Shot was no good from 18. Not that I would watch or know. 32 is the score. 20 seconds left to go. Ryan with it in front of the circle off to the left side. Out of the corner for Sanders. Looking back with 13 seconds. The Lady Rams are going to win this one as Triad's going to back off. So your final score this afternoon from Shagna Gymnasium. The Malford and the Lady Rams beat Triad 46-32. to We'll tell you all about it in our Schmidt Triple A postgame show. We'll take a break. This is Lady Rams basketball powered by Community First Bank. Wouldn't it be amazing if there was somewhere you could listen to knowledgeable discussion, interviews with a great mix of coaches, get the scores, and be entertained? You must have missed last week's Saturday Sports Show. Give AM 940 a couple of hours every Saturday morning after the 8 o'clock news, and we'll give you the info you need like no one else can. It's your best option this sports season. The Saturday Sports Show on WMIX and WMIXSports.com. Powered by Crossroads Community Hospital. It's more than a hospital. It's what health care should did your bank recently stop offering free checking? Peepus National Bank still has free checking with the added convenience of a Visa check card, online banking, bill pay, money pass, and mobile banking. Stop by Peoples National Bank located at 413 South 34th Street in Mount Vernon today for details on how to get your free checking account. Peoples National Bank. Serving Southern Illinois since 1909. Member FDIC, non-usage fees may apply. We've all had dreams of being king or queen. Now's your chance. Hi, Roy Schmidt Lincoln dealer at Fort Square, Mount Vernon. The 2013 Lincoln MKX makes the perfect throne. With all of its splendor and majesty, the 2013 Lincoln MKX continues to be the king of the crossovers. With heated and cool front seats, panoramic vista roof, and available ambient lighting, you'll wish you would have been driving the MKX sooner. It truly is fit for a king and queen. Drive away in brand new luxury when you trade in any 1995 or newer vehicle and pay only $35,625 plus tax, title, and destination on a 2013 Lincoln MKX. With this amazing deal, our remaining selections won't last. Hurry and see one of our sales associates at Ford Square, Mount Vernon, or view our selection of Lincoln Luxury online at FordSquare.com and find us on Facebook. What does technology sound like? Is it the clang of heavy machinery, the beeps and chirps of an electronic gadget? At the new Good Samaritan Regional Health Center, technology sounds a little something like this. It's the sound of a young girl excited because her mom's being released the same day as her minimally invasive surgery. Thanks to the Da Vinci Surgical Robot, our surgeon's hand motions are seamlessly translated into smaller, more precise movements. But surgery isn't the only way Good Samaritan is raising the bar for advanced healthcare in Southern Illinois. That's the sound of a patient's health record being updated 
and stored electronically for immediate access by nurses, primary care doctors, and specialists alike. That's why soon, the new Good Samaritan Regional Health Center will use all electronic patient health records. Less paper translates to faster, better care for you. And that sounds a little something like this. The new Good Samaritan Regional Health Center. Raising a hospital, raising the bar. This is Mount Vernon Lady Rams basketball from WMIX Sports. The Schmidt Chevrolet Post Game Show starts now. And we welcome you back to Shagnon Gymnasium. Lady Rams pick up a big win at home, 46-32 over the Triad Knights. Lady Rams improve their record as they are now 7-4 on the air. Triad drops to 4-12. Lady Rams are back in action on Monday night against Altsoff. We'll have that game for you against the Crusaders on the road at WMIXSports.com where you can watch or you can listen right here on WMIXFM. Of course, Triad's next game will be, I believe... Thought it was against Waterloo at home on Monday night as well. Then they have Mascuda Thursday. Thursday, Lady Rams will welcome in the Carbondale Terriers. That should be a dandy. This is your Schmidt Chevrolet post game show. Log on to SchmidtChevrolet.com to find all of their new and pre owned inventory or see them at 3423 Broadway in Mount Vernon. We will take a break. We'll come back and talk with Lady Rams head coach Jeff Lana, amongst some other things here. On your Schmidt from Late Post Game Show, this is Lady Rams Basketball, powered by Community First Bank. Hi, this is Joe David Cummins, President of Community First Bank. Uh, now you have heard about our new One Checking product. The new One account is a high interest earning free checking account designed for everyone. Unlike other banks that pay interest on higher balance, this account pays interest on all balance. From high schoolers to Warren Buffett, One will work for you. You can talk to one of us at 244-3000 and learn about the details. One, exclusively at Community First Bank. You will be one happy customer, member FDIC. 16 years, I wrote about the area's great teams. Now I'm part of a great team, the sales team, the Schmidt Ford of Salem. Hi folks, it's Mike McManus, and I'm proud to be part of the Schmidt Ford family. Whether it be a new or pre-owned vehicle, let me or any other of our professional sales consultants help you find your next car or truck. You'll be glad you did. So stop by Schmidt Ford of Salem. Visit us online at SchmidtFordofSalem.com. Backaches, bad hips, rickety knees? Why not try Aquatic Therapy? The Ridley College Aquatic Center has more than a swimming pool. Try a six-lane, 75-foot lap pool along with a whirlpool 10 feet in diameter and a 10-foot by 20 hydrotherapy pool. Aquatic Therapy is very affordable. In many cases, the tuition is waived entirely. With special access and dressing areas for the elderly and physically challenged, getting in the water is easy. Experts are on hand to assist with various areas of aquatic fitness and rehab. Call 437-5321, extension 1207, or visit rlc.edu. Back to Mount Vernon Lady Rams basketball, powered by Community First Bank of the Heartland. And we welcome you back on WYX and WYXSports.com. A quick look at a Tony Wilt scoreboard update. Lady Rams win this one 46-32 over Triad at home. In the JV game, the Lady Rams beat Triad 33-28 in overtime. In South 7 play, Carbondale beats Centralia 61-48. At the Carterville Winter Tournament, Benton beats Cobb, and this is on the girls' side, 48-12. Carterville beats ERC 66-52. Regular season play, Flora beats St. Anthony on the girls' side, 44-33. Midland Trail Conference semifinal, North Clay edges Woodlawn, 65-63 in overtime. Boys games today. At the St. Anthony shootout, Okaw Valley beats Clay City, 52-34. Dietrich over Waltonville, 53-45. Mount Pulaski beats Stroustras, 58-53. And at the Ernie Bozarth Memorial Thanksgiving Tournament, Carterville beats Roosevelt out of Missouri, 57-27. Murphy handles Dupo. 66 to 43. That scoreboard update presented by your state farm agent in Mount Vernon, Tony Wilt. Find him online at TonyWilt.com or look for him in his office on the corner of 42nd and South Water Tower in Mount Vernon. Don't forget that white State Farm Jeep. Get to a better state with State Farm. We'll have scoring and stats of the player of the game coming up here on your Schmidt Chevrolet Post Game Show. 3423 Broadway in Mount Vernon. Online at SchmidtChevrolet.com. The man of the hour is whom we're looking for. Lady Rams head coach Jeff Lon. And don't forget the Lady Rams fall to seven or improve to seven and four. Triad drops to four and twelve. We'll take a break, come back on your Schmidt Relay postgame show. This is Lady Rams basketball from WMIX Sports. There's a good reason why Second Chance Auto has been in business for 33 years. They believe in doing business the right way with honest deals. It's the only way they know. 
And thanks to Second Chance Auto, you don't have to head out of town to get financing. They offer bank rate financing to everyone. Yes, everyone. You'll find a great selection of quality vehicles with three months or 3,000 mile warranties. Come see why they've been successful for 33 years at Second Chance Auto. About 142 East in Mount Vernon. Call 244-4582. Learn to live healthy, learn to live well, and learn how you can live free from unexpected medical expense with a major medical expense policy from Pekin Insurance and the Page Agency. Health insurance that covers hospital, medical, and surgical expenses offers a wide choice of deductibles and a non-tobacco user discount, too. Rising medical costs don't have to be a problem with a major medical expense policy from Pekin Insurance. This is coverage we hope you'll never need, but you just can't be without. Call the Page Agency at 242-7000 about a major medical health insurance plan today. This is Mount Vernon Lady Rams basketball, powered by Community First Bank of the Heartland. And we welcome you back on WMIX and WMIXSports.com. Lady Rams get a big win at home today on a Saturday afternoon, 46-32. to Talking about it with Lady Rams head basketball coach Jeff Lana. Jeff, your team hasn't played since December the 27th. It certainly didn't look like it. They did well today. Well, I don't know. I mean, nobody's I mean, perfect, but they I did mean, well. I mean, we, we had rust today, and, and it, it was a struggle for us to score, and we probably had 20 turnovers, you know, I, you know, and that's not good. But, you know, we did some good things, and uh, it's, it, it, was, it was just good to play. It's good to get a win. We got a lot to work on. <coughs> I knew we were probably going to be some somewhat rusty and maybe not quite as sharp as I wanted us to be, but... You know, it's really like starting all over again. We, you know, it's been two weeks since we've played, and we've we've practiced quite a quite a bit. And I think we practiced to the point where we were just sick of practicing. And I tried to give them a couple of days off and try to keep it fresh. But you know, they let's face it. I mean, the girls they they get sick of it once in a while, and then they want to play. And and I thought this kind of got uh, got that out of their system. And they weren't perfect today, but I think they knew what they had to do to win. I think they knew who they had to stop uh, on Triad's team based on our scouting report, and that was pretty much uh, true to life, um, how we scouted them. And it was a nice win, and uh, we got bigger fish to fry now next week. Is it kind of a burden off now to where you finally get that first game of the year out of the way, first game since the holidays, to where now you feel like you can breathe a sigh of relief and go focus on Alta for Monday night? Yeah, it, it's just a shame we had to lose those two games this week I, I'm just um, I just don't feel good about that whatsoever I think that uh, you know I think we had a great chance to compete in those games and I think we had a great chance to win both of those games and I think you know now instead of you know just playing the rust off here on Saturday and playing on Monday night you get three maybe get a three game winning streak going and hit all off Monday night there's a big difference I think we probably wouldn't have been near as rusty today had we have played Tuesday and Thursday but in fact, I know that for a fact. I mean, I know my kids, and I know I know how they react to certain situations, and I know that this was a, a day they had to knock some rust off, and it's just unfortunate uh, that it happened that way. But, uh, you know, the, the games were canceled <coughs> due to um, things that were beyond our control, and uh, nothing at Mount Vernon High School could have made those games happen. We all tried to make them happen, and uh, due to Mother Nature or, or whatever, we, we weren't able to do that. So um, we did get one in before the Altoff game, and hopefully we got some rust off tonight, today, um, because the thing about going in, into your conference and, and playing is the, the one thing you cannot do on the road in the South 7, I don't care whether it's boys, girls, doesn't matter, is num number one, you got to be able to rebound the basketball, <coughs> and number two, you got to be able to not turn it over. And if you can not turn it over, eliminate turnovers, and then you know, rebound the ball, you got a great chance every time you win on the road in the South Set. And uh, you know, we got to go over there Monday night with we got to go over there uh, Monday night with those two things in mind. We got to out rebound him, and we got we got to not turn it over and give it away and give up possessions. And uh, if we do that, I think we'll be fine. Um, <coughs> Altoff is a young team. They're very talented for, for their age. They're, they're going to start probably two or three freshmen. They're going to start a sophomore in there with them, and they'll start a senior in there with them. And, and uh, so you're going to be at any given time looking at four kids that are freshmen or sophomores and then a senior out there with them. And then they'll bring in a couple young ones off the bench, and then, and then there's a junior or two that play in there off the bench too. 
you're looking at a very talented little team that uh, is going to be very good from Althoff in the next couple years. They're a little green right now, but as I told our kids, they don't know the difference between you and and or Edwardsville or or um, Casey Westfield High School. They have no idea. You could be from anywhere in this state, and they wouldn't care. They wouldn't know. They're going to play hard. They're young. They got nothing to lose. So we got to we got to go over there and play well, and that's a big one for us. Do you go with a day off tomorrow, or yeah. do you try to get in and get a walkthrough in to get ready to go? We've already done it. We've 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 walked all tough through uh, uh, to the point where you know I feel good about the fact that we know who we're going to guard. We have our matchups. Um, Altoff is not a hard team to scout because they do so very little from a structure standpoint. Um, they play just a lot of, you know, um, uh, unstructured motion or what we might in the what we might call um, true motion in that they just read and react and play. Um, they don't. We are probably more of a structured set team where everything is, you know, predetermined. But they kind of just play and. It's more important that we know who their players are and what they're capable of than what their X's and O's are. And uh, I think we're very clear on who their players are, who can score, who can hurt us, and who can't. And uh, that's how we'll gear our defense. And then we'll just try to find enough points to uh, to win the game. But it's certainly very important. And we're five, we're four and zero right now, and this is the only team we haven't played. We beat we beat the other four in the first round. So yeah, this is very important. And then, you know, we go on and we play a little team called Carbondale on Thursday night uh, who will be at full strength this time uh, with their center back. So, uh, you know, we beat them by two without their center the last time. Well, we have to keep that in mind. So next week, uh, you know, the South 7 championship is, is going to have to uh, – it's going to go through us, but it's going to be very difficult. And we understand that. And our kids are going to have to be up for the challenge. And uh, we'll have to play better than we did today, but hopefully we will because we did knock some rust off today. Well, a big game Monday night against the Crusaders of Altsoff. We'll be there. We'll see you on Monday night, Jeff Lonnan. Congrats on a big win today. All right. Thanks for being here, guys. Always a pleasure. That's Jeff Lonnan, head coach of Lady Rams. They are now 7-4 and four on the year. Triad drops to 4-12. and 12. 46-32 is your final as the Lady Rams beat the Triad Lady Knights. We have scoring and stats. Mount Vernon, 17 of 36 from two-point range, 47%, one of five from the arc. For 20, they go 18 of 41 from the field in the game, 44%. Triad, 9 of 24, 38%, three of 11 from the arc for 27. The Knights go 12 of 35 from the field for 34%. Mount Vernon free throw shooting, 9 of 17, 53%. Triad, only 5 of 20 for 25%. Rebounding went to Mount Vernon, 38 to 20, and Mount Vernon had 13 turnovers compared to 15 for Triad. The Lady Knights were led in scoring this afternoon by Sophie Thompson with 11. Abby Burroughs had seven, followed by Hannah Johnson, five. Sam Woods, four. Sam Bassler, three, and Morgan Jigas had two. The Mount Vernon Lady Rams were led by Claire Ryan in her 19 points. Hannah Owens is the only other double figure scorer for the Rams with 10. Miriam Hester, Micaiah Rush, and Aisha Sanders had four, followed by Courtney Scarborough three and Colleen Scoble two to give you a final score. Mount Vernon 46, Triad 32. There you go. Only thing left is the player of the game, Claire Ryan. There it is. Without a doubt. Big night for Claire Ryan. Leads the Lady Rams to a 7-4 and four record. And uh, some momentum into Monday night. We're back with the Lady Rams on Monday night on the road at Altsoff. I know what that means on the way. Looking forward to that. That'll be Monday. 6.15 to JV start. We're on the air after that. Our next broadcast, well, right here tonight, the Mount Vernon Rams welcome the Northwest Academy of Law out of St. Louis, the NWA. Can't wait. That'll be tonight, 7 o'clock, 7.15, 7.20, somewhere in that vicinity is your pregame. Here on 94.1, we'll have video at WMIXSports.com. Can't wait until then. For Danny Zerwinski, for Jeff Crow, for Quentin Lloyd, for everybody at WMIX Sports. Thank you for accessing our broadcast. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter at WMIX Sports. Find us on Facebook. I'm Chris Hugo reminding you of the final score. The Mountford and Lady Rams 46, the Triad Lady Knights 32. So long from Shagnon for now. <laughs>